I'm Eric Novak, and coming up, I'm going to learn all about Mazda's latest iteration of Skyactiv technology. It's called Skyactiv X. Back in 2011, Mazda launched something called Skyactiv, and it was a, uh, an overall series of technologies that went towards making their internal combustion engines more efficient, better on gas, lower on carbon emissions. It's something that they put a lot of effort to, and in the years since, it's been quite successful, as Mazda claims it has reduced its overall fleet uh, fuel efficiency, uh, increased its fuel efficiency, and lowered its emissions by 30%, which is number one in America uh, according to the US EPA. Well, for 2018, Mazda is getting set to launch their next generation of Skyactiv. It's called Skyactiv X. And I'm here at Mazda's North American Research and Development Center in Irvine, California, to find out what is the next evolution of Skyactiv. All right, so Skyactiv X is Mazda's next generation uh, engine technology. Um, or our basic goal is always to improve fuel economy as much as possible, but without making any sacrifices in the in the driving enjoyment. And so we've come up with this new engine that burns fuel in a fundamentally more efficient way. Um, the actual combustion process is different, so we can extract more energy out of it. Uh, we're using what's called a, a lean compression ignition. So we run a really lean mixture, which means a lot more air than fuel. Uh, and we compress it incredibly high so that it spontaneously self-ignites. Uh, this, is, this has sort of been the holy grail of internal combustion technology for a long time, and nobody's figured out how to control it and make it practical for, for uh, normal usage on the street. Uh, and we finally figured out how to control the timing and delivery of, of power uh, in this very high pressure uh, environment. So inside the cylinder, the difference between a diesel engine and a compression ignition gas engine is, is how well the air and fuel are mixed. So in a diesel engine, you compress just air, and then when you spray in the diesel fuel, it burns immediately. In a gasoline engine, you mix the air and fuel together, uh, compress it, and, and ignite it uh, then. And with the pre-mixed fuel, you have a much cleaner burn. Uh, and so that, that makes it a fundamentally a cleaner engine. It also uh, burns faster, so we're able to, to rev the engine higher. So we have a much wider, more flexible power band. So one of the first things I was really curious about driving in this new type of Skyactiv X engine is what's it going to sound like? I mean, if we're taking compression technology, you know, you've got this familiarity of the knocking sound, um, and surprisingly, and and I guess in a very positive way, I, I haven't heard that. In fact, Maz has been trying to tell us in the presentations uh, and other, it basically is going to get the same look and feel as driving a regular normal engine, the Skyactiv G. Uh, the benefit being, of course, as you're saying, uh, better torque. And we'll see this as we launch off uh, onto our green light. And you can feel it. It's a two liter engine, but I'm feeling what seems like more torque you'd expect in something a bit different. Um, that's good. And uh, if you combine that with the improved fuel economy that we should see, this could be something pretty interesting. Um, if you actually get to drive a car with a Skyactiv X engine, um, the first thing you might notice is you don't notice anything at all. It drives very much like a normal gasoline engine. All of our cars, we really focus on uh, responsiveness and drivability. We want the car to really have a really direct connection. When you step on the gas, you want to feel a really immediate response. Um, and that's where we really focus a lot of our effort uh, on this engine. Um, one place it is different is we tend to rev this engine a little bit higher. We'll put shorter gears in it, and if you're cruising on the highway, it'll be at a higher RPM than you're used to. We did a lot of work to make the engine really quiet so you don't hear it, but running it at a higher RPM makes it more responsive and quicker. And this uh, compression ignition is 
uh, unusual in that it is just as efficient at, at a little bit higher RPM around 3000 as it would have been at 2000. So we're able to gear it differently like that. So in the car here, this prototype, there's a little tablet that is uh, here. You wouldn't see this in a, in a production unit, but it's there for visualization. And I can tell uh, when uh, this engine, the new Sky Active X, is operating in this compression mode versus traditional spark mo uh, engine mode, basically the old system versus the new system. And, and there is some instances where you're going to be operating without the pure Sky Active, the compression mode. And it's in you know high loads, but it's interesting because I can watch it. And by and large, even when I'm trying to accelerate, um, we're sticking in this, call it the sweet spot, the most effective, fuel efficient, better performing method. And it's, um, again, it's a visualization in a, in, a, in a prototype, but it works pretty well. And I'm impressed so far how often or how long I've been able to keep in this, this new compression system, the ideal sweet spot, which would have better performance and better fuel economy. If the end game with respect to uh, automotive transportation and the environment is to collectively see the overall environmental footprint and carbon emissions continue to be reduced to a point where we have a more sustainable way of personal transportation, well, I think you could say there are different approaches to how to get it done. There is lots of talk, of course, about electrification and hybridizing or even a hydrogen fuel cell. And in Mazda's case, given their size as a relatively small automobile company. They don't have the budget in R&D to devote to multiple streams. They continue to focus their efforts on building the most efficient internal combustion technology that they can. This Skyactiv X technology really has my interest peaked. And I know hi uh, Mazda has often said they don't have a hybrid vehicle in their mix, but you know what? I kind of think this is it. It's not a hybrid engine in the typical battery electric sense of the word, but by combining compression technology with regular internal combustion spark uh, driven technology, you're taking a hybridizing of these two uh, different ways of creating energy from an internal combustion engine and making it one. It, it's really going to be interesting to see how it rolls out. We'll begin seeing Skyactiv X engines in a seventh generation Mazdas beginning in the 2019 model year. But that's it for now from Mazda's North American Research and Technical Center in Irvine, California. For EnviroDad.com, I'm Eric Novak. Thanks for watching. There's plenty of ways for you to keep connected with me, so check out some of my social media links, suggested videos, and you know I'd really love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel.